Hello everybody and welcome to MNJ Games. I'm Michael. And I'm Jasmine. And today we are going to be touring Diver Park, um, which is made by Vincinati. Um, so it's V-I-N and then Cincinnati, or like Cincinnati, but with just one N. And as you can see, I believe this is a park that he posted, um, I believe it's in February, if I'm correct. But very detailed park. As you can see, it's got a lot of different themes involved in here. So before we begin the tour, is there anything that kind of stands out or interests you, Jasmine? Um, that triangle, colorful triangle thing. Yeah. <laughs> that is a very interesting piece of artwork that looks awesome that we will get to. Um, I'm interested there in the back left. It looks like um, um, it kind of fits with that ride that's right next to So I'm interested to kind of see what that looks like. And so let's get started. Um, as I said, this is called Diver Park. So let's act like we're a guest. And That's be... really cute, those letters. Yeah, I wonder. That is really cute. Let's see, did he? Yeah, I guess you placed. Uh, um, yep, that's really cool, though. So placed. it looks yeah. like placed um, uh, those Black 3D people. shapes in the background and then just a little bit elevated. You made 3D shapes to create that because if you're b back from far away, it looks like actual letters instead of the pieces. And I've I've vented about this before, but why in the world can Frontier not give us actual letters? I know. Like other than the ones that light up, like I don't want to use those amusement type letters every time. So, I mean, it doesn't seem like it'd be that difficult to give us actual letters. All right, so here's the entrance. Um, Oh, that's a cool color scheme for that brick. I've never thought of using kind of a bluish color. Yeah, that's cool. It's really cool. And then the greenish color. Very colorful. Mm-hmm. Looks very nice. Which way first? Left, right, straight? Uh, let's go straight. Go straight. Okay. We got the enter entertainer. All right, so. Uh, that looks cool. That yeah, that, station. That does look cool. This queue area for this, uh, um, I forget this, 360 spin, Ooh. I think. Or power 360 power yep so that's yeah that's really cool so it looks like it's just those sci-fi pieces um those sci-fi lights put on the wall really cool really cool color scheme um let's continue going straight and then oh actually you know we're right here at the triangle <laughs> you knew where to go huh that is so interesting so let's look here oh, okay so we got a little western area that is okay it's almost like the louvre <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. A um, colorful Louvre. <laughs> yeah, man, that is so cool. So is that actual glass there? Yeah. Yeah, four by four glass. These fun, man. That is um, that's one of the most incredible things I've seen so, in this game. Well, what's the side? What are the side pieces made out of? Uh, it looks like a lot of different stuff. Um, oh. a steel roof. Oh, it's that steel roof. Huh. Um, it's like if we were to copy it. It's that kind that looks like that. He just colored it to the, be that blue color. Okay. That's really cool. That is so cool. That is that is incredible. Like, I'm just being honest. Um, there's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of amazing things they're creating in this game. I get more amazed by roller coaster stuff or whatever, but, I mean, this is one of the coolest. I mean, that, okay, it's not one of the coolest. <laughs> well, look at the ride. I mean, it. Yeah, it's. That is so interesting, and it's just, like, something I would never even think of doing. Oh yeah, for sure. And a lot of you have probably seen this ride before because if you get on the Steam Workshop and you look at the most um, the most downloaded stuff, this ride is has been up there ever since we got the game, which was about a month after it came out. So this is this is amazing. Um, I just I just want to know how in the world did you he come up with this idea? Like this is unbelievable. Um, oh, sorry, I gotta get out of that editing scenery. All right, so let's go ahead and just ride the ride if we can. Where's the beginning? <laughs> oh, there's the entrance. Okay, so this is kind of separate from, yeah. Okay, insanity. So it must be insane. Oh, that's adorable. All I right. love it. We gotta look around. Yep, that's incredible. So. Um, oh, look at the smoke. Mm-hmm. See, it's good to have another person run on these park tours because you notice things sometimes that I don't think to point out. <laughs> it's funny the difference in our... Um, what we, our, what uh, we look at. Our, well, yeah, and our park designing stuff because when I start a park, my first thought is, where's my first roller coaster going to be? And that's really cool looking out that window. Yeah. Um, and her first thought is... Ooh, what's my what's my thing gonna be? Yeah, what, is what, it, are, what I want my this, building's gonna look like? I want this to be a lover's park or something like that, right? That's 
Yeah. Oh, why did I click on a gas? Oops. All right, so let's ride this ride, the Insanity Experience. So I'll go ahead and fast forward. Oh, this is interesting here at the top. See, if I was actually riding this ride, I would be terrified right now. <laughs> This is this is amazing. There we go. Very fun ride. Um, I think this part here, from like a oops, sorry about that, guys. From a ride standpoint, I think this at the end was a little too quick right here. Kind of lurched a little bit. Um, but I love this part right here. It was awesome. I think going up in this triangle thing was cool. What stood out to you? So I know there are a couple parts here like, ooh. Yeah, well, those tunnels, those, um, let's see, go to the left. Well, okay, that one too. But, um, yeah, yeah that one. Oh, there it is, yeah. Yeah. With the, that is so, little stars and the bubbles, like, wow, that is so adorable. I mean, that, that took some major planning. I mean, this had to take hours upon hours upon hours, especially since the game just came out. Um, and it almost looks like a little water park, like like tour or um, guests could yeah. walk through it and just have fun. I think one of my favorite parts, too, was I think this part right here, when you came by this sign, was really cool. Mm -hmm. So very, I mean, incredible. Um so let's go to this western area and then we'll kind of work our way around the rest of the park so nice buildings um, so let's see yeah that just looks really cool I love the coloring on that ride I mean it just it stands out so much like that's not something you normally see but it just fits oh wrong thing you know what let's go above to find where the entrance is to this ride here it is alright at least I think that's the entrance. Yep. Okay, this has got a little... I like this little tunnel right here already. Where it kind of mm -hmm. goes on top of the entrance to the ride. Perfect. Rodeo ride. Alright, so let's look at... We'll let's fast forward. Oh, you probably should ride this one in track view. I always forget to do that. so there's the ride that's a lot of fun um, I wonder if um, he made this ride kind of initially when the game first came out too because I think we all have had issues with 
having a coaster stuck on the top of the train because we didn't understand the block system component that this game has and wants you to use. But I love that turn right there. Did a really good job banking it. What do you think of the ride? Yeah, um, I liked it. I really liked um, what he did with the um, the station and the decorating. That's that's what I look at. <laughs> yeah, I think the theming is really cool because he um, obviously painted the terrain around here to make it look almost like deserty sand. Um, and there's not a ton. Like my big issue sometimes is putting way too many trees or different things. And he doesn't have a ton, but he's got enough to make you feel like you're you're in the desert, essentially. Like you're separated from the rest of the park, in a sense. So that's really cool. Alright, so let's go over here. I like how you've got signs. Mm -hmm. The King Tar Hunt and Insanity Jets. Oh, here's another look of the ride. definitely cool yeah so this is pretty cool we're not gonna ride these but um looks like we've got three different of these that's really cool how you know yeah. let me zoom out of here and let's look at what this looks like up here because how in the world okay so that looks like um oh my gosh there are there's like so much detail in this I was thinking it's just like one big that is crazy so you got all these temple pieces then you got no, some more of that and then then rough brick behind, oh, okay that's yeah that looks cool doesn't that look yeah at that. it does look cool I don't really use those temple pieces at all and I probably should yeah I'll be honest the adventure pack is probably the DLC that I have used the least of and it's just because I'm not I'm not good with creating themes, and that's one area that I definitely need to get better at. Um, oh my gosh! Oh, I just fence. realized the fencing so cool. That is cool. Literally, you just have these cat or I don't know why they call them cat things, but those um those little fence those little. What is that? Um, it's under the. So let me show y'all real quick, just in case. Sorry, this camera sometimes can get annoying. So if you go under create and you go to the building section and you go to framework and you go to coaster supports they have little ones down here um, oh. that are like these right here like cat oh. hoarding primary support and so what he did is he That's just took cute. those and then he also ran them horizontal and then he took the glass pieces and he just colored them and that I mean it's something that's so simple but yet it's just we don't think about it so there's a cool little water coaster. Oh, water coaster. I haven't actually I haven't seen that many of these. So let's go on this. Let me pause it so we can get to the proper train. Okay. Kind of cool. It feels like you're in a jungle. She looks happy. <laughs> I was riding one one time where it looked like the person beside me was like had her eyes closed, <laughs> like it was a scary ride. Is that like a an art piece or did he actually like I don't make know. that? I mean, that's got to be something. Like I said, I'm not. I, don't, I didn't really do too much with the adventure pack, so I don't know kind of all the pieces and different stuff. Um, but this is really cool so far.
like how you have that little viewing platform right there. Yeah, so overall, a really good ride. Like I said, I haven't seen too many of these, so I don't really know what to compare it to. I think a couple of these hills were a little too quick in terms of, like, like what do they call it? When you have the vertical hang time is, like, essentially mm -hmm. the roller coaster needs to give your body time to come back down. Air time. And air time, yeah, and not be too quick. Um, but that, that's really cool, really good theming. Makes me want to try to build one of those. So like I said, I haven't, I haven't, I've hardly even ridden those. But now this one looks cool. This... Even though it's just like a Facoma boomerang, it still looks awesome. Like the coloring of it is super cool. And it's kind of still has that Arabian sort of feel. Yeah. Oh no, this isn't a, um, this is a, let's see. I'll have to see what kind of coaster it is. Because that looks a little different than the one I was thinking about. Oh, it's like the Taj Mahal. Yeah, look at that. Really oh cool. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. <laughs> the Sultan. Well, I really hope that they've uploaded this to the workshop because I will be downloading this. Yeah, or you can just create it as a blueprint from here if you need to. Or that. All right, yeah, we're going to stay as guest seating because one time when I was on one of these and I did track view, it just got kind of trippy with all the since you're training from the track above and yes yeah, so we'll do track view I love those columns too and just how that all fits in oh so you go backwards first mm -hmm. I think it's technically called a boomerang coaster as you go forward and then come back like a expecting to be like nope nope well I like going backwards because then I can't see what's gonna happen <laughs> see I don't understand that because when people are like close their eyes and stuff I'm like that's that makes it worse because it's like then you don't know what's coming so it gets your stomach more. well I don't close my eyes but if it if there's a coaster that goes backwards I'm, I like it okay teach their own I'm not a huge fan of boomerangs but like that was a really fun ride well done um I think that area could have been smoothed a little bit, but I love like this is these are all custom supports. Like I think. I could be wrong on that. Hold on. No, hold on. I'm trying to click on it and see if it's a custom support or if that comes with the game. Nah, okay, that might actually be with the ride, so never mind. Yeah. But either way, it looks really cool, looks awesome. Um I is this station custom or is that part of the ride? Okay, so that looks like it's part of the boomerang too. Either way, awesome. The Taj Mahal look and feel. Um, oh man, it's got like this little little Arabian village here. I don't know about you guys, but um, sorry, I gotta get out of this camera for a second. This just reminds me of like Aladdin or something. Yeah, this is and, very cool. Oh man, I'm doing really bad man in the camera. All right, it's like Agrabah. Is that Akraba? <laughs> Akraba, yeah. <laughs> uh, it makes me just want to sing like Will Smith's Arabian Nights or something. You should you should put it on nighttime so we can see what the lights look oh, like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Good call. See, it's good having two people because it's easy for me <laughs> to forget things. Yeah, look how cool that looks. That looks awesome. And we've still got like a little food court here. I think somewhere to the right. Oh, a little robot. <laughs> yeah this is super cool oh, gosh sorry guys I'm just really <laughs> really bad with the camera today but that's really cool very nice let's see what the rest of the park looks like at night oh look at insanity at night what yeah that is that's even cooler than the daytime it is that is awesome how did he do those lights? Oh, they're just big spotlights right there. I gotcha. <laughs> but still, I'm like, this is amazing. Still, yeah, that's. Oh, and that's lit up green. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. 
So can you actually, oh, I guess you can color those lights, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Um, we still have one roller coaster to do. Kind of crazy because it's like, I've already looked at so much. But nice food court here. Um, let's turn it to, uh, let's go back to daytime. So we got one last coaster to do. And this one looks like... Um, it's like a vector, launched vector. There we go. All right, there we go. Good ride. I think it could use some smoothing on some of the turns. Um, but I like the theming once again. It kind of, what was it called again? Do you remember? Um, radioactive, oh, okay. So it's like stuff's died out and I like that. Really cool. So one last time, let's get a view here of the park. Zoomed out view of the entire park. So, what was your favorite part? I think I know the answer, but what was obviously your... that what is, is it called? Insanity, the yeah. colorful ride. Mm -hmm. But the Taj Mahal, the Taj Mahal ride was definitely a close second. Yeah, I mean it's it's all very incredible. I mean the wooden ride was really good too, and the scenery over there. Um, I mean obviously Insanity is incredible. Like this is just the most incredible thing I've seen in this game and whether it's PC or on console like this is just amazing so um, you did such a good job we really enjoyed the park make sure to leave your comments what you guys think was the best ride um, what's your favorite part of the park and as always if you enjoy this video make sure to hit that subscribe button and I appreciate you guys watching this and have a good rest of your day